Hello and welcome to another week of Stepping Up Your Game with Rob Frey. I'm your host, Rob Frey. For those of you who joined me last week, we were talking about drafting. People that you want to be like. People that are already doing the amazing things in the industry. And so people I like to draft, once again, was, you know, Alan Berg, Scott Favor, Todd Mitchum. These are people I'm drafting. I'm seeing where they're going in the industry. Today I'm going to be talking about collaboration. So somebody I've been drafting and also wanted to collaborate with is actually here with me today. I'm going to bring him in. His name is Brian Bonacici. Anybody know this guy? You should know him. You host a show on this network, don't I you? I do. Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Shameless plug. And that's live, right? That's live. Live. So this is pre-recorded. Sorry, folks. But Brian is here in Salt Lake City, Utah, where I'm from. And we are collaborating. Uh, Brian hit me up a couple of months ago and he said, Rob, one of my bucket list items is to come and DJ at Sundance. Sundance is here. It's up the canyon up in Park City. And I said to Brian, sure, if something comes along, I'd love to have you come down. Well, what we're doing is tomorrow night, we are collaborating together. Yes. And so you're often collaborating with lots of different people. Are Absolutely. you collaborating with other DJs? Absolutely. Who Absolutely. have you collaborated with and how have you had to find those experiences for you? I think they've been awesome. Uh, the last one I can think of off the top of my head was with Jason Janai. We did cool. the uh, wedding MBA party together. Yes, I was there for that. Okay. That was amazing. Yeah, so it was a kind of an unfortunate situation that became amazing, actually. Yeah. Uh, that was due to the horrible tragedy that happened in Vegas with everything. But my party got canceled. Yeah. And so uh, Jason and the Wedding Wire folks were like, listen, we have an opportunity to do something great for the city. Let's come together, which is like two bit arrivals, not in yeah. Wedding Wire typically. Mm -hmm. and and as entertainers, we yeah. got to come together and show the world that, like, listen, we can do it and we don't have to be competition. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing when it comes to collaboration is breaking down those walls of competition. Yes. Yes. Seeing other DJs as collaborators. And so that's the cool thing is Brian and I are not in the same market. But we do have the same type of people that we want to work with. Same types of brides, same type of corporate clients, right? Right. Right. And so Brian and I just actually had a meeting today with 10 other DJs here in Utah, where we talked about this collaborative thing. What were some of the highlights from that meeting you'd say we took away from that? Gosh, just seeing that everybody has a similar uh, bent and wanting to be better. Yes. And the fact that they're weighing, they're allowing themselves to put their, um, their, you know, wanting to get ahead of one another yes. on the side. Yes. In the spirit of bettering themselves for yeah. their own clientele. Because they all have their own DNA. Yeah. But they want to kind of learn some things that they can then apply to their own business. And I think that's super cool. And so what I suggest to you, if you're in a market with multiple DJs and you're not collaborating, do it. Um, we were able to change the conversations here in Utah. We created a Facebook forum. And on that Facebook forum, we asked for help. We weren't talking about our how what our pricing was we weren't talking about how cool our lights were we were actually asking about how can you help me instead of just posting photos we started just sharing and collaborating and the cool thing is I'm not very good at lighting and so I find people within my market who are great lighters also there are times where I've done bar mitzvahs and I've hired a DJ to DJ for me so I could just MC the bar mitzvah so the thing is you don't have to do it all alone have you collaborated with people in your market uh, you know, well, I know I, you're in multiple markets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a few times, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I, the one that I can think of the top of my head in Florida, we have multiple DJs. Yes. So for us, it was um, a single op who needed yes. some help just yeah. to like, take care of a client. And of course, we said yes. So yeah, yeah absolutely. And then the same thing, lighting is, wasn't our specialty. Yeah. So we found somebody else who does lighting. We bring them in all the time. Photo booth people too. Right. So. And I, I think that's important too, is also to know maybe not where you're your weak not necessarily your weaknesses but things that you're probably not the best at. right right and you want to give your client the best experience possible absolutely and absolutely. so you said you know I don't provide the lighting that I think this client deserves right so I am gonna hire out right right so absolutely. why not do that in your market right you know find some potential DJs that you can collaborate with how's that sound sounds amazing I think it's a definitely a great goal to have since we head into 2018 yes so, thank you for joining me on Stepping Up Your Game with me, Rob Frey, and our special guest, Brian Bonacici. You can follow him on Instagram at Brian D. Official. DJ Brian B. Brian B. I Official. I put a D in there. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know where the D came from. <laughs> and you can follow me on Instagram at Rob Frey. Uh, 
we're plugging Instagram because that's that's I love that's that. That's where you gotta be. Yeah. That's where you gotta be. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk about Instagram next week. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on Stepping Up Your Game. Uh-huh.